Hey guys, it's Tori, the person behind the camera. I just wanted to announce before the video begins that we have just moved into a new house that is right by the road. It is a nice neighborhood, but due to being right by the road, the audio quality of this video is pretty scuffed until we are able to hook Rob up with his own personal mic. Regardless of this inconvenience, we hope you guys enjoy the video and stay cooking good looking. <laughs> Remember me? Four guys with Blackstone. Uh, 15 subscribers now. I'm sure you're itching for another video. It's been seven months. And I know, you know, I, I know I've let you down. But I used to, I, you know, I still use the Blackstone all the time. And, uh, but I have a new love. Yeah. Uh... Photo. Uh, we won't talk about that anymore. Well. Now we live in a new house. It's not. Run. And as you can see, we're kind of on a busier street, but we like it here and we're happy. So we're going to do smash burgers. And uh, I've made some really good burgers on this, but lately we haven't been extremely happy with the burgers. So I might have to yell a little bit because of the traffic. Um, so I bought this. This came uh, from Amazon yesterday. Cuisinart. And we all know what smash burgers are. I've never attempted them, believe it or not. I've made good burgers, but never smash burgers. So um, this one's got a lip. A lot of people say, no lip, no lip. You're not going to get the sear. Well, I don't know. I'm going to try it, and you're going to witness my uh, perhaps epic failure. Um, so I learned a little bit about it. I studied it on YouTube. And we're going to start with, uh, this is 80-20. And what do we say these were? Two-thirds cups. So just, uh, yeah, black snow, you always send your hair. And uh, it's two-thirds cup, 80-20, or 20-80, however way you look at it. And uh, just loosely packed, not tight meatballs. And I got the black on real high. And so we're going to take a dab of butter. This is what I learned. We're going to take the meatball, we're going to put it on the butter, and then we got parchment paper, and we're going to smash it, and we're going to hold it. Wait around 10 seconds, but I am like getting real hot here. You know how hot that blackstone is. So we're not really going to count, we're just going to hold it, hopefully get a sear on it. That's the whole idea behind this, right? It's about 10 seconds. Well, I'll tell you, it comes out looking pretty. So let's go with number two. I think I have ten of these. Put that butter there. I think the butter helps with the caramelization. So what I'm told. So with the smash burgers, right? It's supposed to be a different way of cooking them. You're building up a crust. And this one with the lip is, uh, oh, that butter has a cut hair on it. Uh, the one with the lip is supposed to give it a crust on the side, too. Oh, crap. Sorry, I didn't mean to say crap. Don't mean to offend anybody by saying crap. It's just a term I use, like, oh, shuck, darn. Dang it. Yeah. Or if you live in Oklahoma, dad gum it. Dad gum it. Right? Yeah. Because that's where we are. We're in Oklahoma. Um, I got all these burgers turned on high, by the way. So this is just, this is real butter. It's not uh, margarine. And so we'll just continue the process. So what I've learned is that once you start, and I can almost see it on the first one here, it bubbles up through. So basically, uh, the way it's explained is just cooking up instead of out, like most burgers do. So I'm going to get rid of that. And we're just going to keep going until I get eight of them done. Other parts of the paper. This is, this is, uh, this is a hot process. 
Sorry about the traffic lights. There's not much we can do about that. We like privacy, but we don't have a ton of it here. But the neighbor, the neighborhood is real good. People, people are real nice here, so we're happy about that. I think next time maybe we should get like a, like a mic hook up. Huh? You can get like a mic hook up on your collar. Yeah. Yeah, I know you, I know it's probably a hard time hearing me. I'm not a professional. I'll be here. Well, obviously the traffic and uh, the sizzle of the burgers. Now we've been using, we've been doing burgers a little bit differently. Uh oh. Ow. Uh, we make our own patties and we've been making them real thin. And, uh, and we'll use, uh, lifting beef and onion soup mix. And flatten them out real thin before we put them on the blackstone. And, uh, it's really good. good. We just need a little bit of change, and I've been wanting to try to figure this part out. The whole bachelor thing. And I've seen some professionals do it on YouTube. And I've seen some non-professionals do it. And I'm, I'm just afraid that, uh, you know, I'm going to be a non-professional when they turn out happy. So, that's why I'm doing this. I got this. Wonderful wipe off from yesterday. And uh, uh oh, I'm running out of room. So that's what that's what's going on here. I think it's probably <laughs> better if you do less burgers. But they like to eat a lot of food. And I'm getting a lot of butter sprayed all over my arm. This is a hazard. Alright, we're going to try to flip. I think this one here is ready to flip. So I'm told you got to get right underneath it. Don't use any of that crust. Oh, look at that. Okay. Alright. Looking well, really good. Oh, there's Aiden. Oh, he does a lot of the yeah. idea. I'm just a camera person. Yeah, that's all right. You operate the camera. And then I'll tell you why. Well, she's good at it, number one. Number two, I have an iPhone. I have an iPhone. I don't even know if you can hear me. I have an iPhone. Hers is a Samsung. For some reason, with iPhones, you Yeah, can You have not. the newest one, by the way. You have the newest one. Huh? You have the newest one? Yeah, iPhone 12 Yeah. Pro iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, and I have a Samsung 10. You can't, uh, this isn't an advertisement, right? Yeah. It's not a competition for you. Bruh. Well, no, I'm telling them because but, yeah. you have a newer phone, but it doesn't pause anyway, the video. It doesn't pause video. iPhone does not pause, pause video. So that's that's bizarre. Why have, that's the way you're doing that. So. Plus, you just, you know, you like to do it. Even if you're not going to do it. It's going to <laughs> Alright, so 2, 4, 6, 8. Oh, I only got one more thing. Well, anyone that's seen my videos before knows they really suck. That's a lie. And the biggest reason I'm doing it is because I told my mother back in New York, Rochester, New York, to be exact, not New York City, Rochester, okay. Rochester, Hi. New York, uh, a landed place, right up there by Lake Ontario. I heard that uh, anyone that's from Rochester, if you're watching, I heard Dick Tahoe is just for sale. That's a complete. Well, I'm in the but, you know, I'm All right, I think the one thing is I forgot to do is uh, put the season salt on it. It's probably a little late, but just using the Lowry to uh, make things simple. There. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, they, they, they look nice. <laughs> They got, they got the crust on them, no? They look really good. Um, hold on, here it goes. Oh. So that's the one thing I was wondering about. 
<laughs> I was wondering since this uh, since this season art one had a lip on it that you were actually going to be able to get the tear. And so I went and Facebook and I'm part of uh, Black Show and one of the Black Show groups there and they said, hey, what do y'all think of this season art one? A lot of people are like, doesn't have a lip, you're not going to get the tear. Why don't you just use a brick? I don't think that that's necessary. So I was like, ah, I'm going to try it. I got 30 days to send it back. Normally, I don't know. I don't like my burgers that thick. I usually like them real thin. We all do. But, I don't know. They're looking pretty good. They're looking pretty darn good. These over here still got a little bit of juice and juice coming out of them. So, the thinner you make them, obviously, the, the less time it's going to cook. Um, since this one has a lip, they're going to come out thicker. I do have another cast iron thing that's just flat. But, eh, I don't know. I wonder, really, the ultimate thing is how they taste. I wonder if they would be interested in seeing your steakums. Oh, yeah, steakums. I might do a video on that. I'll tell you what. That's good. They're good. We, uh, we found an old Jew up at a store up in Oklahoma City. I think it's called, it's called like Johnny's or something. Yeah. It's just a little, looks like a little Johnny. Tell you about that thing. The store is called Crest, not Johnny. Yeah, Crest in Oklahoma City. And it's just, there's not any around, around here, but um, the old Jew is good. And uh, the first time we did them, I kind of overcooked them because they just cooked. Bam, 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 bam. And you all know what they are. Last well, time we did them, we overloaded them with cheese. That's so good. Oh my god, they were delicious. They were really good. I should have taken this out. Well, you didn't know. <laughs> well, I still see some red swallowing, so uh, we like our meat well done here. It looks really good. Really what it comes down to is how they're going to taste, how juicy they are, even if they're well done. I think it's time to cheese them up. I'm going to actually turn this off because it's piping hot. Cheese, please. Thank you. Thank you, Trusty Sister. What did you say? I thought you said something else. I don't say you do that. I, I know, know, I thought you said sexy. No, I didn't say that. This is YouTube. I mean, technically you can say it. Yeah. They look kind of sick, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this is sexy. Yeah, this is sexy. Yeah, this is sexy. Yeah, this is sexy. The parents like them thin. Yeah, the parents like them thin. I don't really care. Um, so really what it comes thing. down to is that they're thick and they're juicy. Okay, no problem. But if they're thick and they're dry, that's a problem. Yeah. But they do appear to be quite juicy. They look really good. They smell very good. Yeah. Well, I think they'll be done for that. Yeah. We're going to let that cheese melt. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Some burgers, that's like the cheese. Well, I know ideally on smash burgers, they're supposed to use American cheese. No. Um, we're not yeah. like it. We don't do that. Yeah. We just have some Sargento. You know, I didn't buy great value because there's a difference. A lot of things I'll buy great value. It's like, yeah, whatever. That's fine. I don't know. Don't get great value tomato sauce. I mean, I am a poor guy with black stuff, but I also like these that taste pretty good. Uh, so this is all turned off. We are going to put these on a platter. We're going to go all in the house and fill them. And then I'm going to cut one the open. What? The bun. Oh, the bun. Wow, yeah, the I bun man some, came. Some <laughs> buns. Hi, bun man. <laughs> There's Aiden the bun man. He can just... Yeah, I don't know if he's going to get toasted properly, but that's okay. Thanks, Bob. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, there certainly is a lot of hammering up back there. All right, so. All right, we're going to scoop these up. Whoop. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, see you in a little bit. We'll let you know how bad they suck. Oh, I mean, whatever. How good they are. All right, there it is. So this is Don's burger. She likes it with, uh, you know, normal stuff on it, like vegetables and whatnot. Um, Don likes hers very well done. And a couple of them were not done to her liking. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks good. Uh, really good. It looks juicy. Squeeze it a little bit, sweetheart. Mm. Well, it's got juice in it, and uh, it doesn't look hard. And it's well done. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and say uh, these are good, and uh, maybe I'll do another video sometime and, and follow up on it. But as you can see, they're juicy. Um, they're cooked. A lot of them are, I'd say, medium well to, to well, and they're still look they still look pretty darn juicy. So. We have to decide if we want to go uh, with that Cuisinart one that makes them thicker or if we want to go to a typical like, cast iron and smash them down to nothingness. So that's the decision we'll have to make. But, uh, well, I got 15 subscribers. Maybe I'll get one more. I'll probably end up losing one. But thanks for watching. Uh, hey, Mary. See ya.